Now, Naomi hadn't slept the whole night. She was waiting. She was eager. She said, my daughter, who are you? And for, at first, Naomi had to wait because Ruth could not even speak. Who was she? Who had she become? What had happened in the night? And then she said, this gift is for you. All the barley is for you. And he says that he must ask permission to redeem me. Then wait, I know him. I know he will do as he says. And he went at once to the town gate and Boaz asked for 10 witnesses and he waited. And then he saw coming into the market Plony Elmoni, which means Mr. So-and-so. And he called out Mr. Plony Elmoni, Mr. Plony Elmoni. And he came forward and he asked the 10 witnesses to wait. And he said, Mr. Plony Elmoni, Naomi wishes to sell a parcel of land belonging to her husband, Elimelech. Do you wish to buy it? Yes, I'll buy it, said Plony Elmoni. Then no. If you buy it, said Boaz, you must also marry Ruth the Moabite so that her husband's name may continue. Oh no, 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 Moabite. I don't want any trouble, Moabite. And he took off his sandal, which was the sign in ancient times for a transaction, and handed it to Boaz and said, you marry the Moabite. And Boaz said, witnesses, people, have you heard? It is I who am able to marry a woman who will enter our community, who will bring our community deep love, deep integrity. Do you accept Ruth to be my wife so she may be part of our community? And the witnesses blessed him and said, may you thrive and be courageous as your forefather Judah and your grandfather, Nakshan, who jumped into the sea. And may Ruth be fertile as Rachel and Leah, who also went to lands that were not of their birth. And so they were married. And Boaz said to Ruth, Last night I gave you barley seed. Tonight I give you my own seed. And they spent the night together, and they were joyous. In the morning, Ruth woke up first, and she was filled with such deep happiness. And she went and she prepared the most wonderful breakfast, and she put it right near Boaz and waited, and waited. and waited. Boaz never woke up. He died in his sleep. But God remembered Ruth. And nine months later, she gave birth to a little boy. And she gave the boy to Naomi. And Naomi put the boy at her breast and her face was so radiant that Ruth was filled with as much joy as Naomi. And the women said, we will call him Obed, meaning service. And Naomi and Ruth raised Obed together. And then Ruth helped to raise Obed's son Jesse, Jesse's son David, and David's son Solomon. Boaz had passed away but his courage and integrity remained with her. And her children and grandchildren and great, great, great grandchildren came to be with her. And she was the one who sat next to Solomon on the throne and watched her great, great grandson rule Judah with wisdom and justice.